everybody, Trevor here with Valley Valley Medicine, functional medicine practice here in Fargo, North Dakota. I'm a nurse practitioner and certified through the IFM in, uh, in functional medicine. And I wanted to set this, set the story straight with you today. I'm a little frustrated and I just talked to my rep um, because I thought maybe there's some new information that came out that I didn't know about. Um, because I hate when therapies and modalities that we use to help people get better are blown out of proportion, false, faulty information is given to people and hyped up so that they can get people in the door to get to do some of these therapies that are good for them, but they're giving false information that gives them a reason to think that they're getting something that they're not. So I've seen some Instagram reels, I've seen some other videos from people that claim that this therapy, Ibu, is taking out spike protein, that it is taking out mold, that it's taking out heavy metals, that it's taking out environmental chemicals, and it's capturing all of these things in the filter. I would like to propose to you that I believe that that has never been proven. So the way that this device is actually set up, it's set up in a way that that isn't actually even really possible. Okay, so let me explain to you a little bit about this device and what it is, what it does, so that way you can understand that maybe why some of that other information is not exactly true. Now, I love this therapy. I don't get me wrong. I think it's an incredibly valuable therapy that can do incredible things, and we see great results with many of our clients in using it. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about the process and what it does. So we actually start two IVs on somebody, right? So one IV starts on one side, and then we start an IV on the other side. The blood comes out one side, goes through tubing and through this pump right here. And after it goes through that pump, we actually have a dialysis filter that sits in here. And then there's a whole bunch of extra tubing, and then it goes through this ultraviolet light right here. So the ultraviolet light, uh, does very synergistic things to ozone as well, comes back and goes into the person on the other side. Now we see an incredible change in, um, <clears throat> in coloration of the blood, oxygenation of the blood, um, which is amazing. It's really fun. And I think that it proves that there's really cool, good things going on. Now, also as a part of this therapy, there is a canister that sits towards the bottom, okay? So let's talk about this a little bit. As the blood comes out, goes through the pump, goes through the dialysis filter, the dialysis filter actually acts as a really large surface area. In this therapy, it is not utilized like it would be in dialysis. We actually hook up this filter backwards. The reason is because we're not taking blood and putting it through a filter because if you do that in dialysis, what it's doing is it's filtering, of course, toxins out, but there is a extra gradient around it with the dialysate or the dialysis fluid that helps to maintain homeostasis of the different uh electrolytes and things that we need in the blood, right? Because if somebody's kidneys aren't working, then we use dialysate, dialysis filters and dialysate to take toxins out and to be able to put things back into the blood in the balance of which it needs to be. That's not what we're doing here. What we're doing is we are actually putting this in backwards because it works as a large surface area. So if you look at this, there are a lot of different, um, filter pieces in here. And so when the blood goes around that, all of the oxygen and ozone comes in through um, all of these different filters in here, and it creates a huge surface area, which the blood is all touching. And so it's continuously ozonating, oxygenating the blood as it goes through from bottom to top. Now, once it does that, out of the bottom of the filter, there's a tube that goes down to, um, down to a canister. Now this canister will fill with a bunch of foam. Not every time. And we're not totally sure what causes a lot of foam, to be honest with you. 
So I just got off the phone with a gentleman that works with the company where I got this device from. They have done tons of testing in regard to the foam that ends up in this canister. That testing has not proven to have heavy metals, molds, other toxins. What it has shown to do is there's, there's, there's some uric acid in there. There's some uh, breakdown from platelets, um, some extra probably inflammatory um, cytok uh, cytokines, some of that kind of stuff likely are what's in here, right? However, there is, of all the testing that they've done, they have not shown that there is heavy metals, mold, any of that kind of spike proteins, any of that kind of stuff in this filter. Unfortunately, I would think that would be super cool if that was the case. However, I have, that's not what's been proven out, okay? So once it goes through dialysis filter, goes through the blood tubing, goes back into our device, and through here, so we use LED and ultraviolet lights, and what that does is it helps to have antiviral, antibacterial properties, reduce inflammation, promote blood flow, and then back to the person on the other side. Now, uh, what's true about this therapy is it does treat about two liters of blood. So depending on how big of a person you are, that might be half or a third or a quarter of your blood. So what are the benefits of doing this therapy? Now, you can get the equivalence of an ozone therapy with this as opposed to about 30 major autohemotherapies. Okay, so major autohemotherapy, we start one IV, draw blood up, put it in an IV bag, treat it with ozone, give it back to you. So it's a much more effective, efficient way of doing ozone therapy, which I love. Effective and efficient is great and it's actually cheaper for what you get, okay? Um, the other benefits are that, and what it's been proven to do is greatly reduce uh, inflammation. It's been proven to improve um, blood sugar sensitivity. So in other words, if you run high blood sugars or pre-diabetic, diabetic, it's likely to improve your insulin sensitivity, okay? Um, it helps to improve your blood flow. And also it has been, uh, proven to have antiviral, antibacterial, antiparasitic effects because of the ozone that's given, okay? So these are some of the, the effects, some of the benefits of ozone therapy. What are, some of the, uh, what are some of the benefits that people have seen by doing this therapy? So I will tell you that I have done uh, EBU therapy several times. And this last time I did it, um, I had had a recent viral infection. I believe it was COVID. I never got tested, but I had significant brain fog afterwards. I had my nurse sit down and do a EBU for me. And about 20 minutes later, all of my brain fog went away. So it was amazing. Halfway through the therapy is like, man, my brain totally cleared up. Now we have had athletes come in and do this therapy and they have seen that their performance goes up. They're able to run better, longer, faster because their blood is better oxygenated. Uh, they have lower inflammation. Their recovery times are better. Um, we, we've definitely seen people with uh, chronic health conditions have decrease in pain and uh, basically the rest of their um, the rest of their treatment plan goes way better because they've instituted and included uh, ozone th therapy and specifically EBU as a part of their treatment program. So I hope this is helpful. Please drop a comment below. Let me know what questions you have, but please, when you see these outlandish claims of things sound too good to be true, we are pulling all kinds of stuff out of the blood, please know we got to approach those things with a grain of salt. Know that sometimes when things are blown out of the water and, and hyped up, they're not really true. So that's my input on EBU therapy and the claims that are happening out there right now. Um, so please, uh, again, drop a, drop a comment in the chat. Let me know what questions you have. And uh, we look forward to uh, chatting with you again soon. And uh, have an amazing day. Bye-bye.